Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. This message will be for the collective. This is a timeless message. So when you receive this message is when you're meant to receive it. One more shuffle. Guides and angels, and I have a message for the collective who are watching this reading. Spirit guides and angels, and I have a message. What do they need to know? like some of you, not all of you, some of you are going through a deep heartbreak at the moment. Maybe there's been a breakup or something that's kind of pierced you down into the depths of your, your being. I feel a lot of sadness. Yeah, I feel like you're actually leaving this energy behind. It's something that gave you a lot of joy and a lot of pleasure. Maybe this is a relationship that you feel like you have to leave. It looks very toxic to me. Something that actually brought you a lot of sadness. So it's good that you're leaving it behind. You're moving on into another direction. Yeah. You're moving into a new life cycle. This cycle has ended it's complete. And a good thing is that with the world, once the cycle has completed, there's always a new beginning. Your life cycle always begins again. So with this ending, you have a beginning. This is some lesson that you had to partake in, but it's a completion nonetheless. Yeah, you definitely have a new beginning, something that's, I believe that you're actually going forward in this situation. You're actually going forward, being more clear on the situation. Um, you finally have your truth, and this is a new beginning. You're going to start with your truth. The Four of Pentacles. You were trying to hold on for as long as you could to this situation, but I don't think that was for your greater good. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You're also looking for more stability. This situation did not bring you the stability that you desired. So gaining the truths that came forward, now you're able to kind of 
kind of let go and you want to more stable ground. Page of Swords. And I feel like this person is going to try to message you. They're going to try to worm their way back into your life. But I don't think you should go back to that situation. That situation seems very toxic to me. They're going to try to tell you their truth. But you know the truth. You know. You know the truth. Yeah, I feel like if they can't have you, they're going to try to cause some kind of conflict. They're going to, seems like this was a, a bully. This person was very toxic. I'm feeling that energy. Yeah, you're doing what you need to do. You're moving on. You're moving on to a better position. The bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. Don't confine yourself to this situation. Um, that's, that's just my advice, but um, don't confine yourself to this situation. You do have the strength to move on. You do have the strength to, to go on without this person. This person is just toxic. I'm getting some really nasty energy from this reading. What advice do you have to give? Give me some advice for this reading, please. The judgment. Okay. In this situation, you're coming into your own. You also have temperance. Temperance on the bottom of the deck. So you have healing. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles. You're independent. You can take care of yourself. You don't need this person. I feel like this is a strong reading for you to um, take it as a wake-up call and just move on from the situation. This person is very toxic and very, I don't know, I just have a nasty, nasty energy from this reading. Angel card. Angels and guys, please give me a message for this reading, please. Give me a message for this reading. I feel like with this judgment card and the temperance and the outcome. Kind of moving away from this toxic energy is going to bring you um, a renewed feeling. It's going to bring a renewal to you. And with the temperance as well, I feel like you're going to feel more balanced. You're going to finally find harmony and peace. something that you couldn't find with this person. But I'm seeing that you're very independent. You're very independent. You're a strong person. Um, of course you're strong. If you've endured any toxic relationship, 
anyone knows that you have to have strength in order to just survive the situation. Toxic people can be just overwhelming. Spirit. We have Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or a pedicure. Yeah, and I think you need to take moments of self-love. You need to pamper yourself in order to rejuvenate and recover from the situation. I think that's what Spirit is saying, is to take care of yourself, take care of your own needs for a while in order to kind of rejuvenate yourself. And you have Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Yeah, and I think that this person, this person who you're kind of moving away from, they're feeling threatened right now because they, they kind of know that you're at that breaking point, that you're ready to leave, that you're not going to put up with this situation any longer. But I feel like this is saying um, to move on to move on and you will actually inspire others to kind of remove the toxicity from, from their lives as well. Yeah. Uh, Serafina, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Okay, yeah, I, I think that once you move on from this situation, you're going to find happiness. On the bottom of the deck, you also have crystal. Here, have, no, excuse me, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Yeah, so I, I think spirit is urging you to move forward, to to move away from the situation. Good luck to you. I hope I hope this reading has inspired you to take better care of yourself and move away from these toxic relationships. Good luck to you. So much love to you.